Hey guys, it's Megan Holt, and I'm so sorry for the delays in my uploading schedule. I got sick, and I lost my voice, and that is why so many of my videos have been pushed back. Um, I'm so sorry to all of the Etsy shop owners and all the people that are waiting for reviews or videos from me. I'm so sorry. Those will be up. Those will be up. In the next, um, this week and the following week, those videos will all be up, and I will be back to my original uploading schedule of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I am so sorry for getting off of that so badly. Today we're going to be reviewing a Etsy shop called Colorful Obsessions. They make pressed glitter, and before I start talking about that, I just want to say everyone needs to go and check out Naomi Gabriella's video and subscribe to her channel. Her links are down below. You guys may recognize the name. I have collabed with her twice. I love her. I think she's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. That girl can pull off any lip color. It's, it's amazing. And so she found this Etsy shop and worked with them first. And I found them through her and her video review. She just, she just uh, made me really want to work with this shop. And I reached out to Danielle and asked if I could review some of the products. I've never, ever tried pressed glitters before. I was so nervous about, you know, reaching out to a company and, and trying pressed glitters because we've all heard the horror stories about pressed glitters. <laughs> Naomi just, she did such a great job with her review and I completely trust her and I knew that this would be a good shop to work with for my first like pressed glitter. Um, review. I was just, I was really excited to work with this company. So thank you so much, Danielle, for sending me this palette. Thank you so much for your patience. I want to show you the palette, but again, I just want to say, please go and check out Naomi's video. She did such a great job. She did like a tutorial with the, the, the glitter eyeshadow and she is just amazing. So you should check, actually, you should watch her video before you watch mine. Actually, if you want to watch one of the two videos, I'm even going to say you should watch her video over mine because she's so great. So thank you so much, Naomi. And um, for those of you that do want to watch my video, though, we're going to talk about Colorful Obsessions. And this is the palette that I received. Ooh, ooh, I'm so professional. <laughs> Sorry about that. It closed on me. Okay, here we go. This is the palette that I received. You see there are just a lot of colors in there. Right now I am wearing the red right there on my lids. I have worn all of these colors and I love them. Some of my favorites would be this lime green color. Oh, I love that one. This gold is gorgeous. This dark brown is amazing trying to think of other ones I love. The orange, oh, the orange and the red are really good too. I, I love it. I love, these are just really good pressed glitters. I will say, when I first got the palette, it has like a um, rubbing alcohol kind of scent. It, it had a little bit of a scent and that is dissipated. So I think that was just because they were so brand new. They had just been made. They had just been pressed. Let me tell you a little bit about Danielle and her Etsy shop. So she sent me her most popular palette. This pressed glitter palette is $30 and you get, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you get 12 nicely sized pans of pressed glitter, ranging from more wearable shades, wearable, like um, silver and gold to crazy fun ones like this bright, bright red and orange and lime green. I mean, just, just this is a great palette. It's a great palette. So this has 12 pressed glitter pans in it. The size is 26 millimeters. They are handmade from cosmetic grade polyester. They're vegan, cruelty, and paraben free. They stay on all day and they have amazing pigmentations and they can be compared to glitter injections. I have put these through many, many tests. With my job, it's in retail, that's all you guys know about it. I had a lot of really, really, really long days because the holidays just happened and you know how that is in the retail world. I put these through the test. I wore a lot of them on days where I was there for a long time and I got sweaty. They did not crease on me. They did not fade. 
they stayed put. When I originally, when I initially put them on, um, I will either use brush, and I usually will use a brush like, like this. I'll use one of these little tiny brushes, or something like this, but little flatter is what I use today. Um, but a little brush like this, and I'll usually use that. That works well if you want to um, do really precise application, but it's time consuming. Uh, to pack it on and get the, the really good coverage that you want. You can do it much quicker with the finger and just like a boop, 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 boop. However, um, for me and people with hooded eyes, now, they don't crease, but I do have glitter transfer sometimes um, from, um, you know, under my hood to like a little over my hood, you know. And so what I just do with these pressed glitters and what I do with most shadows anyway is I just take it up a little over my hood so that my eyes are down, you can still see it a little bit. And that way, if there's, you know, any, anything that, any of the glitter that goes up above my hood is already there because I put it there, you know what I mean? So that's just something I do with my hooded eyes. Um, I would suggest that, but, I mean, you definitely don't have to, but I think it would make everything more pleasant if you were to do that. So, like I said, this is really long-lasting. It will stay on all day long. <laughs> and then some, because the one night I was so tired when I got home, I just, like, collapsed into bed, and I was do. I did, um, it was the first time I wore it. I did half gold and then half dark brown on the outside. And the next morning, I woke up, and it still looked as good as it had when I applied it originally. It looked beautiful. I was like, man, I should just leave it on. And then I was like, no, that's bad. But this stuff is amazing. I really like it. I have not reached for actual glitter one time, or even thought about reaching for real glitter because I have this palette. It will greatly diminish my usage of original glitter. I love this stuff. Normally with a glitter, you know, you need like a glitter glue or a glitter primer and then you put the glitter on on top of it. I love this stuff. It's already it's already kind of all good, and you just put it on your eye, and it kind of like dries on your eye and stays put. It is so incredibly good. It's just a good product. I have never tried anything like it. That's why I was so hesitant to try a pressed glitter, because with all the scary things you hear about pressed glitter, I wanted to work with a company that was going to be really, really reliable and using good ingredients, making a quality product, because I'm going to be putting this on my eye. And Danielle does that. Danielle gives you products that you don't have to worry about damaging your eye. You know that they are safe. You know that they're going to stay put. They're going to do what they should. If you're a performer and you need glitter, to, you need to, you have like a glitter on your eye, like I don't know, any cheerleaders or anything like dancers, anything like that where you need some kind of glitter on your eyes and you're sweating and performing, I recommend this baby. They are not going to move. These are great. I, these would be great for somebody that's performing. They're not going to sweat off your eye. Um, what I was saying originally is that when I first apply them, I will have a little bit of fallout and I just clean that up with tape. That's just what I do. I just clean it up with tape and I don't have any more fallout the rest of the day. It is super beautiful super pigmented. I got so many compliments on this. They were like, what is that? Where can I get some? Such amazing, amazing stuff. I just really, really like it. So your palette just kind of comes in like a typical black palette and you have your pans in there that you could pop out, um, I think, and just reuse. Yep. You pop them out and reuse the pan. Oh, so it's like a magnetic pan. Yeah. The palette is about that big. You can see how thick. I think they're pretty nice size. I really like the magnetic pans. I did not know. I just assumed they were glued before. That's great. So if I run out of a color, I can just re I can purchase another color and add it back in because this is going to be a staple in my makeup collection now. I really, really like it. So let's swatch a color for you. I'm not going to swatch all of them because I have a lot of videos to shoot and it will make it very, very messy on my hand um, because once you put these on, 
they're not difficult to get off, but it will, it, they're time consuming to get off. I use my cellar water when I'm getting them off. Um, I go through a lot of the little cotton rounds. I go through like this many for a look like this. So, um, it, it does take some time to get off, but it's worth it. So, here is the kind of pigmentation you'll get if you use a little brush, okay? So I'm going to dip into the lime green, which is probably my favorite color. I love it, okay? So I've dipped into it, and I've dug a little bit out, and I'm going to just place that on my hand with the brush. And that's, you know, what you're working with if you're using the brush method. Um, I prefer that because it's more accurate. It is more time consuming though to get the pigmentation build up. But again, it's more accurate. I prefer that. So anyway, there is our swatch with the brush. Now I'm just going to do one where I just do my finger and press it in. That was a pretty light press. And wham. We got a lot of glitter right there. That, I mean, like, just you get a ton. You get a ton on here. I recommend for precision that you go in with a brush if you really want it precise, if you really want to do like a cut crease or something, or you want to fade it up over your hood like I have to. I recommend just doing a brush, using a brush. But for those times where you just want some shine on the, you know, the inner part of your eyelid, you can just do like a pop, 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 and it's quick and it's easy and it will give you beautiful results. I've tried them both. I have worn them with primer and without primer. I prefer it with primer. I mean, not, not I haven't tried it without primer. What I mean is with a base shadow and without a base shadow. Uh, today and a couple other times I just put it down on like a bare lid, you know, with primer on, but just the bare lid. And I like to have a similar colored shadow or at least like a cream shadow or something underneath as a base um, to really build up the intensity. But you don't need it. I mean, like, I think I have a lot of intensity here. And I just have it on bare lids. I really love this stuff. So again, $30. I think it's really, really worth it. Really worth it for what you're getting. Really, really good products. So you're paying like between two to three dollars per shadow in this set or whatever. And I think it's really, really worth it. I love the packaging. I love the products. I just, I have nothing negative to say about this Etsy shop. I'm going to be leaving her shop down below. I'm going to be leaving the link to the palette that I got to try. All the palettes look amazing though. I'm going to be leaving Naomi's channel link so you can subscribe because she's awesome if you have not already. And I'm going to be leaving her video link. Please go and watch her video. Don't just take my word for it. Watch Naomi's video so that you can see how amazing these products are. She's going to actually use it in a tutorial for you. And if that doesn't inspire you to try these products, I don't know what will because these are just absolutely amazing. So thank you so, so much, Danielle. Thank you for working with me. I would love to work with you again at any point. I mean, I just am I'm in love with these press glitters. I will definitely be repurchasing from you. I'm trying some other press glitters now as well. And um, I cannot wait to learn more about press glitters. Really fun stuff. So I highly recommend Colorful Obsessions. Thank you so, so, so much, guys, for watching. Let me know if you are interested in trying pressed glitters down below. I want to know if you've tried them before, if you want to try them, what you, you know, what you're thinking about pressed glitters. I know I had heard about them, but had been very hesitant to try them, but I'm so happy that I did. So thank you so much for watching, and this is Megan Hilt out.